Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still holding out hope that we are going to get the Yoshi's Adventure Omnimover attraction at the Hollywood version of Super Nintendo World when it opens, hopefully, next year. And in a recent construction update provided by Santa Clarita Drone, it seems as if there's even more of a possibility of that attraction coming over to Hollywood. What's going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. If you guys are new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on to never miss when we upload a video like the one that you're watching right now. Make sure to check out our social media pages, SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. If you want to purchase some official SoCal Exploring themed merchandise, we have tons of different designs for you guys available on our T Public site. Just click the link down below in the description and if you want to help with the channel further donate to our buy me a coffee page buymeacoffee.com slash socal exploring or linked down in the description to help us produce higher quality theme park content now it's been a couple weeks since we had a super nintendo world construction update like i said provided by santa clarita drone so if you guys have not checked out his channel make sure to do so let's get him to a thousand subscribers he just hit 800 subscribers he's been providing all of these construction updates for us to commentate over and kind of talk about what we see in these construction updates since we can't get out to the parks right now. So big shout out as always to Santa Clarita Jerome. But yeah, I mean there's quite a bit of stuff that we need to talk about regarding Super Nintendo World. And we have some HHN construction in the background as well. It's not construction, it's just tents that's appeared and also the mummy location still being there. But we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. As you guys know, Halloween Horror Nights 2020 was recently canceled. So let's take a look back on how Super Nintendo World looked exactly two weeks ago. The second level was slowly starting to be developed. As you know, it's a multi-level land. We can see Princess Peach's castle over here finally starting to take shape and having that same kind of shape of Princess Peach's castle. We could also see the entrance starting to take shape a little bit more over here and just tons and tons of bars all over the place. This is one thing that I didn't notice last week is there seems to be some even more leveling going on over here but we'll get into that in the recent construction update but this is just a quick glance at how construction looked exactly two weeks ago. Now let's flip over to how it looks as of yesterday. But everybody here we go yes you can see the second level is basically all installed at least the flooring of it right and then we can see princess peach and castle with the second level which probably won't be guest accessible now we're gonna stop right here right so i'm gonna point out right in this location for those of you guys who don't know universal studios japan is already ready to open their super nintendo world this year over here is where the Bowser's Castle is going to be most likely because a Mario Kart ride attraction is right behind it. So this will probably be Bowser's Castle right here. We just can't see it taking shape quite yet. But this little hunk of bars all bunched together looks nothing like Bowser's Castle shape. Now, what is it, you may ask? Well, if we look at an aerial shot of Super Nintendo World in Japan, we can see that that area right here looks exactly like the mountains that hold the Yoshi Adventure Omnimover attraction. So that begs the question, is there hope that we're going to get Yoshi's Adventure? And there's another shot of Princess Peach's castle right there. Some more, there's nothing really happening right here as of recently, as of last construction update two weeks ago. But here we get another glimpse at those hills that I think it's going to be. Now I really really think that this could have the potential to be Yoshi's Adventure and that is the official name for Universal Studios Japan I'm pretty sure leaked on this app like website. We didn't make a video about it just because the website got taken down but I'm pretty sure the name was leaked and it's called Yoshi's Adventure. Now if you guys have checked out the Universal Studios Japan version of Super Nintendo World you'll notice that the Yoshi's Adventure ride is actually a very small ride. And, you know, this is a small area for Hollywood, so it would perfectly fit right here. I don't know, if you guys take a second glance at it, that just looks a lot more the, the mountains than the Bowser's Castle. I really think Bowser's Castle is going to be right here, and the rest of the land would just be themed areas. Now, underneath will probably be, like, Toad, Toadstool's Cafe, 
uh, some gift shops over here, probably the exit gift shop right here for Mario Kart ride. This will be the Mario Kart building over here. But if we pull up the two weeks ago uh, shot again, you can see just how different they are. And they really moved fast. I mean, it has been two weeks, but they have been moving very, very fast, progressively fast. And I just want to know what what's going on in the interior side of Mario Kart's attraction. And before you guys go down to the comment section, I know what you guys are going to say. You know, Universal Studios Hollywood doesn't need an Omnimover attraction because they already have one in Secret Life of Pets off the leash. Fair enough, right? But... Really, will Super Nintendo World bring out as big as crowds as it would with the Yoshi's Adventure attraction? Or do you think that Mario Kart The Ride will, will be enough? Now, even though I, I do think that the Bowser's Castle facade will be right here, as you can see, there's also an opening right here. You know, maybe even the Bowser's Castle facade could be right here, directly in the middle, and that will leave more room for interactive areas right here, maybe even stairs up to the second level, and the entrance to either a gift shop or the Toad Cafe. Hey, I don't know. Actually, the more I look at it, the, because if they have the Bowser Castle right here, it'd be really, really compact in this area of the land. But if they put it right here, I feel like they just have more space to spread everybody out. And this is the only opening, it seems like, to the actual Mario Kart show building. Whereas if you put it down here in the corner, there really is no opening unless they were having to guess to go in and then turn right immediately into the show building. But I just think it'd make more sense to lead them straight in to the Mario Kart show building and have an indoor queue in this building right here. As far as Princess Peach's castle goes, it doesn't look like there's much done quite yet other than that second level being installed on top of it. But we'll see if he pans around to the back side of it so we can see if there's any updates on the entry pipe that I think is going to be placed right here. And from this look, it doesn't look like there is a lot. He did tell me that it was a little bit windy, and I can vouch for that. It has been windy here in the Southern California area, so he wasn't able to get as best of shots as he would have liked. Right down here, you can see it. It doesn't look like they've you know started installing the shaping of the green pipe quite yet which i'm sure we'll see very soon it just looks like they added this second level right here also if you guys look closely you can see another facade going right here a small little facade this could be the shape of a mushroom to resemble toad's cafe like i said or a gift shop that will all be underneath here because this will all be the first level underneath whatever's gonna go here and like i said guys once again I, yes it is a small area but it's a small area in Japan too where they have the Yoshi's Adventure. Now this is what I want to talk about, the HHN construction that is not actually construction. The We'll go back to it right now. The tents are officially gone for the backlot mazes so that's very very sad and the mummy maze is still there. It has, doesn't look like it's been even process to do the first steps of deconstruction at all actually i do want to say this this doesn't mean anything it's just nice to see that maze still up but this literally does not mean anything they're not going to run halloween horror nights this year they already announced that they're not going to run a daytime event they're not going to pro they probably won't run a virtual event it's just not going to happen most likely and if it does happen then wow you can prove me wrong but they already announced officially that halloween horror nights is going to be canceled now if in some strange world and covid were to stop and they would have some alternative for it then you know prove me wrong like i said i'd be very happy but i just don't think that's gonna happen unfortunately but yeah that's about it for this construction update no other universal construction updates just super nintendo world and really that's what i wanted to focus on as much as possible because there's lots and lots of stuff going on there every single week and it seems like almost every single day obviously our friend santa clarita drone can't get out there every single day but he is doing a great job at providing these updates and i'm hoping that you guys are enjoying my commentating over them and kind of like telling you guys what i think of what's going in that area and what i think of the construction progress since i can't be out there telling you guys in person while i'm filming the construction myself but if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe with those bell notifications on check us out on all of our social media pages down below as well as our merchandise shop down below my name is Scott, you've been watching SoCal Exploring, positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.